Hey guys, what's up? Here for another Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, last episode we ended with the Anointed One being that child, which I was quite surprised about. Um, it was really good. Uh, glad to be back after the first week of uni. And yeah, full uncut, unedited reaction is available on Patreon. Let's just get straight into it. Man, I haven't been to the zoo in ages. Oh, look. It's Buffy and all her friends. That's a witty. Do you ever wonder why nobody cool ever wants to hang out with you? <laughs> just thankful. Were you this popular at your old school before you got kicked out? <laughs> Careful. She might beat you up. Well, we could go to the ice cream place. I like it here. Okay, now what? You took a bath. Yeah, I, I often do. I'm actually known for it. That's okay. And the Weird Great, Behavior right? Award goes to... Yeah, shouldn't you be hovering over the football stadium with Goodyear written on you? <laughs> Gets bad. So I wonder what the hyenas actually did to them, whether it's still are they possessed or Right. That's enough training for one day. Well, that last roundhouse was kind of sloppy. Are you sure you want to do it again? No. No, no, that's fine. You just run along to class. While I wait for the feeling to return to my arms. <laughs> and Charles is great. Really enjoy watching him. Herbert gave Mr. Flutie quite a scare, didn't he? Students, I'd like you all to meet Herbert, our new mascot for the Sunnydale High Razorbacks. Uh, I'm sure it's the best mascot. He's not cute. No, he's a fierce... <laughs> You're going to say something to me? Obviously, if they are possessed, they still maintain the memories of the people they're possessing. I'm assuming they're possessed. I but like Angel, your mystery guy. Well, guess who just got mean? Now stop that. You're only gonna make things worse for yourselves. Okay, so it's like his personality is there, work. like it's not I am control the possession. And they're gonna take sort you of, all it just home. affects the personality. Thank you. I'm sorry. That is it! Do you know how long? I've waited until you stop pretending that we aren't attracted. I am. Look at me. Look. Xander. Oh, don't get that close. Now I know. Let me out! Let me out! The students have been possessed by the hyenas? Yes. Are you sure? We're really, really sure. You don't seem enormously surprised by this. The zoo imported those hyenas from Africa. There was something strange about them from day one. I did some homework. That particular breed is very rare, totally vicious. Historically, they were worshipped by these guys. Primals. Yeah, creepy guys. Now, they had rituals for taking the hyena spirits, but I don't see how that could have happened. Oh, okay, so it's not a problem. We don't He's... know exactly how the ritual works. We know that it involves a, a, a predatory act and some kind of symbol. Predatory act? Of course. That makes sense. Where did you read that? Do you have Sherman Jeffrey's work on, on cults and their... Boys! Sorry. Look, 
Look, I think we may have enough information so that together we could pull off a reverse... <laughs> Oh. oh, of course, the uh, Maasai ceremonial garb is very good. Are you uh, otherwise prepared for the transpossession? Almost. Oh, right, the uh, sacred circle. Yes. yes, you'd need that to... Um... But this would be here when, when the children first came. Why would you... Okay, so he is. How terribly frustrating for you that a bunch of school children could accomplish what you could not. It bothered me. But the power will be mine. That zookeeper, I actually thought he was just. A... That's right. Throw him in the frickin' cage. Let the animals eat him. Miss anything? Just a bit. I heard the vice principal's taking over till they can find a replacement. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to find a new principal, unless they ask what happened to the last one. Okay, but I had nothing to do with that, right? All right. You only ate the pig. I ate a pig? Was he cooked and called bacon, or? Oh my God! I ate a pig? <laughs> I mean, the whole trichinosis issue aside, yuck. Well, it wasn't really you. Well, I remember I'm going on the field trip and then going down to the hyena house, and next thing, some guy's holding Willow and he's got a knife. You saved my life. Hey, nobody messes with my Willow. That's nice. This is definitely the superior Xander, except no substitutes. I didn't do anything else. Did I around you guys anything embarrassing? Nah. <laughs> Not at all. Come on, we're gonna be late. See you at lunch. Cool. Oh, hey, going vegetarian, huh? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I've been idea. reading up on my uh, animal possession, and I cannot find anything anywhere about memory loss afterwards. Did you tell them that? Your secret dies with me. <laughs> Shoot me, stuff me, mount me. Nice, Charles. Okay, so that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 1, Episode 6, The Pack. Um, I wasn't a fan of it. I'd probably give it a 6. I don't know what I gave Teacher's Pet, but it was better than that. But not by much. That being said, I was invested with the Teacher's Pet. It was... Yeah, this, I was, you know, interested. It just, yeah, it wasn't the best story. And I know this is the first season and you should never, you know, re really judge a series by the first series or season. Is it season in America, series in the UK? I can't remember. But, um, yeah, it had some interesting points, though. We got to see more of the principal, um, 
yeah, so that was very interesting. We'll be getting a new principal, which hopefully will be better than this one. This one was a bit, it was just weird. But that being said, uh, Xander, his character was better than he usually is, in a way, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think how to put that. I really don't like Xander's obsession with Buffy and sort of negligent attitude towards Willow when it comes to his feelings, but in this, those sort of feelings and the way they were magnified by the hyenas, I think it worked. That being said, I'm not going to judge Xander completely by, um, you know, only six episodes. So let's just do a little bit of a breakdown of it. Okay, we start off with them on a field trip to the zoo. We meet these bullies, pretty much a bunch of dicks. Um, they're then uh, very much bullying this this student. The student protects uh, them, though, uh, when the principal comes up. They then go into the hyena cage. Xander goes after them. Try and uh, save this kid. I forget his name or if they even mentioned him. I think they did. It's just I can't remember. They're then basically possessed by the spirit of um, the hyenas. Then we get here in the bronze, sort of Buffy and Willow, and then we have Xander, sort of together we see the, the facial expressions are pretty good. Across the whole episode, here we find out the new mascot for the school is a, a pig. Um, we have Xander sort of taking lessons from Willow on maths, which is a fun subject, at least for me. I, I enjoy maths and science and physics. Xander you know, really gives up. Then we have um, Dodgeball, a game that I absolutely love when I was in school. I was pretty darn good at it. Actually, that being said, I was better at avoiding than sort of throwing. <laughs> you know, I, I was very quick in responding, but uh, throwing and hitting others I wasn't the best at. Xander then throws a ball at basically Willow's head. Then we get this whole thing at the end, it's Buffy versus them. And they then turn back on that kid that was at the start, and they absolutely throttle him with the uh, ball. Here's um, a pretty dark moment where Xander's, you know, bullying Willow, basically, putting her down in so many ways. Okay. Here we have this scene, which is pretty gross. They actually eat a pig. Thank God they don't actually show it. Here we get Xander looking up at Willow and Buffy, Willow and sort of telling Buffy that, oh, you know, it is you, Buffy, it's, you know, coming clean about, 
you know, he likes you, Buffy. He doesn't have those sort of feelings towards me. That's why you're not getting bullied as much. Then we have um, Buffy sort of speaking to Giles about his behaviour. And Giles, you know, like, very much, oh yeah, he's turning into a teenage boy. And mentioning about testosterone. Here we have the principal um, um, addressing these students. Um, here we've got him sort of, you know, now talking about animal possession and that sort of thing, hitting the books. Buffy searching out, you know, the pig being eaten. Here we have sort of a bit of a, an animal instinct sort of sexual moment, if you like. Then we have uh, the other four approaching the principal and they actually end up attacking him. Then Giles comes in and says, you know, that the kids actually ate them. Uh, ate the principal, I meant. So basically they decide to go to, uh, Buffy and Giles then decide to go to the hyena cage to speak to the, um, the zookeeper. This moment I actually thought they were going to eat her and the baby, and I thought, wow, that would be coming close to crossing the line, if not crossing the line. Then we have, you know, Xander sort of telling Willow that oh, if Buffy wasn't here, you know, that we wouldn't need saving anymore. You know, we would never have needed to be saved. Trying to trick Willow, Willow's smart enough to sort of bait him to see. Then we have, you know, the zookeeper saying that these animals have weird history and that primals used to worship him. At this point, I actually thought, oh, he's not the primal. We then have the others sort of coming after Willow, trying to save Xander, and hunting Willow then. Buffy's uh, sort of, yeah, and Giles sort of mentioning that um, as each one is almost as powerful as her, but together they're more powerful. Here we have a family getting ready to leave, and the hyena kids sort of attacking them, Buffy sort of protecting them and uh, leading them off back to the cage. Here we find out that the zookeeper actually was a primal and um, Giles saying, you know, how frustrating it must have been that teenagers accomplished what you couldn't. And he obviously was a bit frustrated. He then attacks Giles. Um, then the zookeeper sort of grabs Willow, holds her, and takes the hyenas out. Xander ends up saving Willow, which was pretty cool. Um, and then the, uh, the zookeeper was thrown into the cage with the hyenas and was, I assume, was eaten alive. Here, Xander's sort of, you know, being told what happened, that, you know, he ate a pig, but he, he wasn't part of the group that ate the principal. Um... Willow saying, oh, you saved my life, Xander, and Xander says, oh, no one messes with Willow. And that was quite a nice moment between uh, Xander and Willow. 
um, Charles then comes up and says, uh, oh, you know, I didn't find anything about memory loss in here. <laughs> and, you know, Xander's worried that he's told Buffy and Willow, but Giles says, oh, your secret will die with me, which is cool. Okay, so that was my breakdown of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 1, Episode 6, The Pack. Um, yeah, an okay episode. I'd give it a 6, not the best. Um, but yeah, that was my breakdown and my reaction. Uh, full, uncut, unedited reactions are available in Patreon, listed in the description below, um, as well as my social media accounts, Facebook and Twitter. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.